Grams. Hello, I'm Grams. Join me as we explore fun places, interesting characters, and never boring stories. Are you ready? Then let's go. Today's book is The Boy Who Cried Poop, written by Alessandra Requena. In this story, Mark and his family can't wait to go swimming in the pool. Unfortunately, Mark keeps thinking he has to go poop. What could possibly go wrong? Let's see what happens. The sun was bright and hot on the first day of our vacation. My little brother Mark and I couldn't wait to go down to the pool. Everybody ready? asked Dad. Yes, we said. Does anyone need to go to the bathroom? No! So we waved goodbye to Mom, Papo, and Bella and promised to save them the best seats by the pool. There was a tower of stairs to get down. Exactly 168 steps. I'd count it. Down, down, down. We raced excited to be the first ones to jump in. We were the first ones in. We jumped into the calm water with a splash. And that's when Mark said, Dad, I have to poop. Uh-oh. Let's go, said Dad. So he got out, dried off, and climbed back up. Up, up, up. All 168 steps. We passed three old ladies in fuzzy sweaters, two kids racing with big floaties, and one pregnant lady balancing a tray of bacon. Whew. Finally, we got back to the top. Dad threw open the door, tossed Mark on the toilet, and... I don't have to go anymore. Well, good try, buddy, said Dad who was looking a little sweaty. You'd better hurry back down or you won't find good seats, said Mom. So down we went, down, down, down the tower stairs, past a man with a crate of 200 churros, past a girl with three dogs and spiky collars, back to the pool. We weren't the only ones there now. Dad sat down with a sigh. <sighs> And we jumped in with a splash. And that's when Mark said it again. Dad, I have to poop. Are you joking? We just got in again, I said. But it was no joke. No, I really, really have to poop right now. So we climbed out, dripping all over the place and ran back up the stairs, because when you gotta go, you gotta go. Mark got tired halfway up, so Dad carried him under his arm like a football. Up, 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 past someone suspicious in a pink bird costume, past a crew of pirates looking for a girl named Jill, past 13 angry cats. Finally, we got back to the top. Dad kicked open the door, hurled Mark at the toilet, and... I don't have to go anymore. Try putting your feet up while you push, said Papo. Try drinking a glass of water while you push, said Bella. Just poop already, I said. But I don't have to go anymore, said Mark. So we waited for Dad to catch his breath. It took some time. Then back down we went. Down, 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 all 168 steps. Past a high school marching band. Past a group of construction workers carrying a seven-foot-tall bronze statue of Sor Juana Inez de la Cruz. Past three molting flamingos hopping down the stairs. Back to the pool. We definitely weren't the only ones there now. All the same, we jumped in with a splash. I wish I could say that we swam happily ever after, but 
Dad, I need to poop. This time, Dad didn't jump up to grab him. No, I can't. I can't go back up. But Dad, I really need to poop. Please, just try and hold it in, said Dad. But I really have to go. Maybe it will pass again, insisted Dad. I watched Mark scrunch his face up, and I wasn't so sure. Dad, I said, I think he really does have to go this time. But it was too late. It was done. Dad, I went poop. Sure enough, there it was. A sinker. Everyone climbed out of the pool. It was silent for a minute as they stared at Mark. Then, one of the construction workers took off her hat. One time, I pooped in a pool, she said. Arr! I pooped on the deck once, said a pirate. I pooped in my good trousers, and that's why I'm wearing this costume, said the guy in the pink costume. <laughs> I think I just pooped. Someone call the doctor. This baby is coming, said the pregnant lady. Soon, the marching band was playing, and everyone was sharing their accidental poop stories. I pooped in my snowsuit last winter at school, I told Mark. Dad had to come and get me. No way, said Mark, who was eating an ice cream someone had brought him. By the time Mom, Papa, and Bella came down, the water was sparkling clean again. And now, whenever someone has an accident, Mark and I tell them our stories. because everyone poops their pants sometimes. See you soon on... Cut.